What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and this is part two of my discussion with Sawcap and Jacka. This time we're talking about the morality and legality of the Parazombies selling the skins that Epic created for Paragon. Let's move <laughs> on to something that's uh, also controversial, is skins, should these, you know, Omega, Meta Buff, uh, Strange Matter, should they be able to profit from the skins that Epic created for Paragon, should they be able to sell those skins for real money? Um, personally, I believe that they should because I think that they've done a lot of work so far. They need to be able to make money off of this project. In order to sustain these games, they need to make money off something. And those skins are a very easy way to do that. Um, I know... I know Jacka in particular has, has has a very different opinion on that. Uh, Jacka, what do you think, man? Uh, yeah. So, I'm a firm believer in they can still have the skins in the game. Um, I don't think they should be able to sell for coins or uh, currency that we have to pay for. I think they can put them behind in-game currency, kind of like how League of Legends has uh, the orange essence and blue essence system. Um, I think what they could do is either get someone that knows how to like recolor skins or something for the time being and just get some recolors going i've seen you do it on your your for the minions before you made you made a skin really fast with not even having good experience you know do that get some out there or you can have a battle pass system you charge people for a battle pass and you know you get to like level five you get one of those skins you get to level 10 you get another one of those skins but the battle pass costs money so that way you have a steady income the way that the game can still make money for server costs. And I think that's like a fine thing. And I think people won't have a big deal about buying a battle pass or other means like that. Mm. But I think just taking someone else's work and outright selling their skins, I'm going to go the another notch route. Like, I'm, like, I'm sorry, like people might not like it, but I a hundred percent agree with him, but I think there's other ways around it where you could still technically sell that skin, but put it behind a battle pass system. And then people, won't have like oh you're stealing from them like that type of deal you know yeah he was he was pretty upset about that for sure not sure just gotta remember the oh, people really? that are originally created those skins they're not getting commission for it now you know they're right. somewhere off on a different project or something they're not getting like valued anymore i don't really even know the legality to it i think that you have to kind of really be i mean honestly i I wouldn't do it either. I would not sell those skins for money because I don't know if you could get yourself into trouble doing that. Um, since that's not technically something that you like made, I, I don't. I don't know. Honestly, what I would do is I would just put put all the skins in there and let people just have them all for free, and then try to figure out another route as to how to like support the cost for servers and all that stuff. Yeah. Like honestly, like at least at first you could charge like a little bit to get into the game or you mm -hmm. could maybe talk about doing like a monthly subscription that was like cheap i don't know how what you could kind of get away with the thing is that like most of the people that are going to come to the game at first are like going to be very supportive because it's going to be the paragon community right yes and it's like seeing god damn jesus come back to life you know what i mean so it's like holy <laughs> shit and like we want to get behind this shit um so i think they could do a lot of crowdfunding um yeah they could put up a donation link if people want to donate straight straight out i think it's fine people need to like calm their tits when it comes who cares if a company's taking their money if they're actually providing content right you know there's not a fucking store with no gameplay yeah. like there's actual content for some of these games. They're actually investing their time in coding and making these assets that we know. You know, they should get compensation from it from us a little bit. So, like, I like the idea of, like, a battle pass system. Locking something behind a paywall is not a bad thing. Also, if you can make some of the skins available in the game behind earning an in-game currency, is not a bad idea at all. That's the way I think they should do it, is make everything available via in-game currency, but give you the option to buy those skins if you want to, because that would give people the option to support these games monetarily if they wish to. Right. Um, the other thing is, I mean, Epic did refund the money to anybody who wanted it, so if, 
if that's the issue, like if you're just pissed off because you paid for the skin once, you don't want to have to pay for it again. I don't think I don't think after talking to you guys, like I thought that was the issue at first. After talking to you guys about this, I don't think that's the issue anymore. You guys have changed my mind a little bit. But um, yeah, I I just honestly I just worry about the, the the like I said the legality of it. I don't know if it's I don't know if they could get into trouble for using any of those assets and then charging money for them since they're you, free assets. I don't know you, what the deal is. You also don't want to piss off the hand that fed you. Um, Epic gave these guys all these assets. Yeah, I don't know. If, I'm sure they're really smart and they read the Epic terms of service terms of service agreement. If you piss them off in any way, they can just shut your game down. And you can never make a game again at any time they want. Right. Yeah. And you could be blacklisted from making another game in Unreal. So you don't really want to piss off Epic. For one thing, because I know it's it's kind of like you know after talking with people in core that are like higher up in the or like part of the dev team right they talk about how like eventually they wanted to remove all of the paragon models and replace them with mm -hmm. their own models and they weren't going to name them the same uh they were literally going to eventually replace all of the assets um into their own assets yeah. so and and it was for like legality purposes or eventually if they wanted to make you know, a certain amount of money. I don't, I don't exactly know why. Yeah, like, for instance, here's a big example, right? Say you want the name of your game. Like, if Predecessor made a shirt, and they have a picture of Iggy on that shirt, and they sold it, technically that's illegal, because they don't own Iggy. Right, yeah, that's true. So you can't market your game with their assets on it and for profit. That's the other problem, legality-wise. I never so, thought of that. That's a great point. The merchant, right. the merchandise and stuff that games do make money from, you're, you you got to be very careful on what you put on there and selling it because their lawyers will, <laughs> hey, we're gonna need a uh, seventy five percent of that. Yeah, because that's a. I mean, like I said, I personally I don't give a shit if they sell those skins. Like I'd I'd happily give them some money, you know, if they need yeah. money, you know, but that's the only reason why i think that they probably shouldn't go that route is because it's it's questionable with okay so it looks like smoky is saying the only thing you can't do is merchandising the rest is free game so like mm -hmm. what i was saying about like shirts or mugs whatever hoodies okay. you can't do um yeah but I, I still think it's not that hard for someone to go in there and recolor and design like a, a funky looking skin or whatever they want you know like that there's, shit would be fresh to me. There's a lot you could do to, with with that too. Like you could make like a rainbow shinbi or some shit like that. Like it wouldn't. Right. That shit really would sell. Not that hard. And yeah, it would sell, and it would be. It would. I think it would be morally kosher. Um, I don't think I've, I haven't seen anybody other than Omega take that step to completely make a cosmetic change with the skins, though. Because I mean, they made that Severog with the um, the scythe, the scythe, scythe yeah. instead of the hammer, which I, is I, really that, fucking cool. Definitely, definitely, they should be able to sell that for money. I always thought yeah, that a good 100%. idea for any of these games would be to, uh, you know how like League, like they sell like chromas, right? So you have mm -hmm. like, you have like the tier two, three, four skins, and then you have like recolors of them, and you can buy the different chromas, the different recolors. I always thought it would be cool to take that concept to like the next step with MOBAs and basically allow you to purchase. Um, the ability to make your own color scheme on a hero. Like a right? color so, wheel. Right, so have like certain parts of the hero, you know, maybe have like three colors, right? So like Murdoch's armor, and you just have a color slider, and you can just change the color, and then like, you know, um, his, whatever the edges of it, I, I don't know. But then also be able to add your own like kind of like custom emblem that you could do just like in, you know, like, like a sprite emblem or whatever, or like a little pixel emblem. So you could just have like a little patch. I, know, I mean, I know that people are just going to make like a bunch of dicks and shit like that. And it's <laughs> going to be like on their character, but fuck it. You know what I mean? It would be cool to have something like that yeah. where you could have like your own tiny little emblem and you could have a designated spot on most characters and, you know, it could go there. And so they would pay like, you know, five bucks to have that capability with Murdoch if they wanted to do it with Murdoch, you know? Another thing like that. that I found really cool and a good, we, we brainstorm these ideas a lot. Um, you What's can up, bring the community together and the streamers together with the game as well and profit off the streamers and 
say, for instance, let's use SawCap as an example, right? He's a streamer. If someone wants to support that streamer, they buy his, like, they sit down with SawCap and, like, this is the skin I want in the game. This is my skin. So when they buy that skin in game, a little bit of the cut goes to SawCap, and then a little bit of the cut goes to the game itself. And that way, it's like an interaction that helps the streamers grow and it helps the game grow at the same time. So, you know, like Windu, Windu's purple, right? You make a dope ass, like, purple, like, you know. They have the purple Severog already, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you, you, you put like his, his logo on something, on like his cape or something, you know, like it's sick, you know, it's easy streamer, streamer interaction and it helps every community grow. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. I like that. that it's bring, like, it's like that Fortnite's creator code. Streamers. Yeah, it's like Fortnite creator code, but integrated in skins and you're like, you're helping out your like guy, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And it helps out the game and the person at the same time. I like that a Great. lot. I don't think it's a bad idea. Greg said Dota did uh, individual parts for skins that you could mix and match for the first few years. I yeah. think weapon so. skins would be really cool. Like, right. with yeah. the oh, yeah. scythe. like if you could change that to like an axe or a scythe or a hammer or something. Or baseball bat. I know everybody wanted a baseball bat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. Did the home, oh, home, awesome. home run Severog, yeah. man. <laughs> I don't know why they never made that skin. It literally was like, like so perfect. Like, dude, just give them a baseball bat and put them in some... <laughs> tattered baseball uniform you know yeah and then if if one of these projects ever do get to the point when there's esports you have like league of legends sometimes i think they have like S- stk skins or whatever skt mm-hmm. you know you have the team skin you know and you can apply that as well i think they have a lot of options they can go with skins and it's yeah. fairly simple to do once they get a designer in there making these things i think yeah. some some really interesting stuff that I know this is not Paragon related. I've been talking to Project Stamina a lot, the guys that are kind of remaking, mm-hmm. sort of remaking Gigantic. Um, they were talking about the competitive scene a bit, and they were saying that they uh, they want that to happen naturally. And I think that's the best way to go. They don't want to. Um, they're not going to promote it themselves. They just want to make a game that is really good, and then hope that people want to want to make it competitive, and then assist right. if that happens which right. i think is probably the best route that's the, the I, other thing i think a lot of these projects uh, speaking of the skins and selling and, and and creating an economy and sustaining the game project stamina is definitely ahead of everybody else in that they definitely they have a business plan they have a patreon right now that you can donate to and i think that's really good it's it's put them in a better position than a lot of these companies a lot of these companies seem to be so focused on making the game for the fans that they lost focus that they are a company and that they Mm -hmm. need to make money to sustain the game they can't live on this isn't a disney movie they can't fucking just live on sunshine and happiness they gotta these games eventually need to make money somehow and uh they all need to like sit down and come up with a business plan for the future and for right now like you said sock app a lot of people are or uh, or maybe Jack has said it. I'm not sure which one of you said it, but as somebody was saying, that crowdfunding needs to happen yeah. for these yes. games now. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I, they need money. And I wouldn't be opposed for them to actually, even if they want to, pull us as the community and let us tell you if you think yes. us donating to you is a good idea or not. Mm-hmm. Don't let one person out of the loud mouth tell you yes or no. Let the community decide because I'm sure I've asked probably at least 50 or more people and they said, I don't give a fuck. If they had a donating button, I would fucking donate right now to help yeah. this project go. Yeah, like, I don't be that... scared to ask for money if the overall poll is fine. Yeah. I, I mean, I think honestly, it would be pretty overwhelming in terms of like support of, you know, of that idea. There's already, a, so. there's already enough shit out there that says, hey, these guys are actually working on the game. Yeah. It's not no play Agora fucking scam, you know? <laughs> There's yeah. already there's already, there's already exactly. enough shit out there. if they are a scam, Jacka is going to know. <laughs> and he's yeah. going to let everybody else know. <laughs> I'll find times. you, I'll find your address and scare you and make you delete your Discord and your game. Just I'm like afraid to take a shit anymore because I think Jack is probably watching me somehow. Uh, how many times did that guy shut his Discord down? Dude, he got so scared when I sent him a picture of the front door, dude. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a little psycho. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure. I was like, Google Image, Google Image <laughs> just tell me you live here. <laughs> Ten minutes later, that Discord was gone, bud. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Jack. <laughs> I, mean, I knew it was bad when, when I got into his stream, when he was streaming, and there was like 
a few people in there that were kind of under like different accounts but i knew like who they were you know and there were people that knew how to use like unreal and they're like this guy has no idea what, what he's doing and then we just kept kind of like poking fun at him and he just like blew up and like cussed us all out and i was like okay like this is this is questionable you know yeah. <laughs> a man still fucking he swindled yeah. some people out of their money he even did. though and the whole time we were... money and run yeah I feel yeah, so like he had a plan guys. and he stuck to it, man. Yeah. Ugh. So. I even told a kid, he's like, I'm going to donate right now. I was like, dude, don't do it. Like, you've seen nothing from this kid. Don't. Mm -hmm. Like, I even messaged him. Like, I saw him. Hey, man, what's your PayPal link? I'll PayPal you money now. I was like, this guy's some pretty shit. Like, don't do it. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to pay them any attention whatsoever. I wasn't going to do anything about them because I was, I thought it was probably a scam. And then, like, my subs were like, Hey, this guy's making this great game, and I gave him money to do it. And I'm like, oh hell no! Yeah. <laughs> I don't want my yeah, subs giving this dick money. I need to do something now. Yeah, I remember you you released that like that like uh, video while you were out at work or whatever. From was it like did you film it from your phone or something? Or yeah, yeah, yeah I posed with a chainsaw because I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, dude! I'm a man. Look at my chainsaw. <laughs> I did use that chainsaw though, but. Listen yeah, to if, me. I'm alpha if predecessor or fault, like if any of you guys watch this or listen, like pull your community, man. Like if you guys want to have a donate button to help you guys, especially if it gives you like that little extra like like oomph to like get things going, you know, to like hire that extra person on your team to like get an artist or designer to like help them pay for art or something like that. Like just do it, man. Like there's people out there that want to like help the community grow. Yeah, definitely, definitely. 100 percent agreed looking at you yeah, because like we already seen you guys yeah we already <laughs> seen you guys like produce work like we know and it, if it fails who cares you know like the shit's actually getting work done at least we know that yeah like when I, when i was offered that um when i was offered the refund from epic i didn't take it i was like i i got so much enjoyment out of this game that i think they deserve the money that i have given them so i didn't take that refund I think it's the same way mm -hmm. with these games. They deserve. I, I would love to be able to give them more money because they deserve it. They have, they're working on these games tireless, tirelessly for the community, for a community that is so hung up on this game and we don't want to give it up. And uh, and if they're anything's not worth my 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 extra income, it's that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. I'll go out and start a. Making phone calls, smoking, try to get some uh, some funding. You know, like the was a PBS or whatever. How they do that <laughs> shit with those little like once a month they have those like bunch of people calling for donations and shit. Uh, I'll be that guy. I mean, I, hey, I've been seeing RGAC you know on those betting websites, man. Is, is that how you guys are getting your funding over there? Like, I, I see him making some uh, big Playing bets over there on some teams, man. Oh, he's, he's shit. making that money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just did the. Uh, the eyes. Uh -oh. you <laughs> I really, might, you want, might be on to I really like the idea of a PBS thumb fundraiser where we got like the thermometer that's filling up. Slowly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just have like uh, community members like answering phones, like "Hello, how's it going?" <laughs> Start calling. Thank you for people. your donation today. You will help the Paragon Fund. Bunch of dickheads in the background. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you just have to. I, I don't know how that would work. You know, you just call people like in the general public and be like. Hey. Hey, just call him on Discord, dude. <laughs> we're we're trying to raise money for uh for predecessor, and they'll be like, "What is that?" And you'll be like, "It's a nonprofit for <laughs> underprivileged children that are also starving and they're missing a leg in the country of Agora." <laughs> <laughs> they won't know the difference. Hold on, that's a scam wait to happen. We need to shut this down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, yeah. so I think Get that's going to probably uh, conclude our conversation. We're getting a little loose with it right now, so I'll I'll go ahead and close <laughs> out the video. I'm still going to hang out with Suck App on the Twitch here, but uh, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, thank you, Suck App. Thank you, Jack. I really appreciate you guys coming in, recording this with me. Uh, you definitely had some great points. Changed my mind a little bit on the on the skin thing too. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Good on you for that, and uh, that's going to be it. This is Mangu signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoos!
Later. Hey, Take there it. we go. All right, sweet. Did I ever tell you guys about the scam I ran in Afghanistan? The scam I ran in <laughs> Afghanistan? No, but this <laughs> this sounds a little bit more tangible than what we were just talking about. Oh, I want to so hear fucked, about this. This scam. is so <laughs> fucked up. This is so fucked up. But uh, all right, so we got this care package, right? You know, people send care packages all the time. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was like this chick's name, and Buddy's like, she sounds hot. It's like it's just her name. <laughs> so we, so we looked the name up on Facebook. We find like you know several women with that name, and one of them's really hot. He's like, I wonder if that's her. I was like, it doesn't matter. Just send her a message saying thanks for the care package, even if she didn't send it. She'll feel so bad for not sending a care package to the troop that she'll talk to you. And, and it worked. Oh no! So then we're like. Let's go through all these care packages and find hot girl names. <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 no. We don't need to do that. We just go on Facebook, find hot girls, and send them messages thanking them for the care, for, package. for the care packages. <laughs> we had a folder full of nudes from doing that. <laughs> oh, nice. man. Oh, it was Hell so yeah, fucked dude. up. So fucked up. <laughs> That's not fucked up. That's just genius. Yay, genius. Veterans Day. Yeah. That's my that is, Veterans Day story. That is hey, genius. Veterans, we used to do in a good light, man. <laughs> yeah, by the you way, happy, happy Veterans proud. Day, Mongoose. Thank yeah. you. Happy Veterans Day, man. Welcome. Yeah, you're so. a dick for not saying it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not midnight yet, you know? Yeah, That's it's true, still though. technically... Uh, it's always 8 o'clock by time, dude, so it's still Veterans Day. Mm-hmm.